Good morning, guys. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and it's been a little while since I've given you guys my morning routine. It's been actually over a year and quite some length difference. So I want to make a video today showing you guys every single step of how I get my beard ready. Um, I'm in the bathroom, so I apologize if it's echoey or the sound. I don't know how it's going to turn out until I dive into it, or if I have kids yelling in the background. That's just the reality of my morning routine. So this is what my beard looks like in the morning when I wake up. I know it's not the craziest, but you can see I kind of lay on it over here. And the very first thing I'm going to do is take a shower. And I'm going to wash my beard today and follow up with a conditioner. I'm going to be using Beard Octane's Neutral LCW Wash and then hitting it with the Detroit Grooming Beard Conditioner afterwards. And everything in this video today is completely just what I'm using. Uh, there is no paid ads, no paid product placement. The companies have no idea I'm making this video or that, that they are in it. So I don't want you guys thinking like, oh, this is for, no, they have absolutely no idea. So shower, wash, condition. I'm going to do a little dry, then I'll come back to you guys at that next step. Out of the shower, next step is towel dry. Now I use just a normal bath towel. Uh, a lot of people will say that a microfiber towel is probably better and it really is, but I hate the feel of that. So I just make sure I'm very careful and gentle with the bath towel. I first kind of go over the outside, just nicely kind of going down. I'm not pulling, I'm not pushing too hard. Next I'm gonna take it up underneath, All right? Get underneath and you can see some water coming out there. So my beard is still pretty saturated. I always like to run my fingers through it, kind of get it nice and loose, breathable a little bit. And my goal is to get my beard at about 75% dry. <clears throat> now, a lot of people would say, well, what does that mean? For me, that is where it's not just absolutely dripping wet, but it's also not dry at the same time. I would call my beard damp. Okay, so I'm just kind of going down the outside there, really working it through. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my comb. I always start out with this, at least lately, this wood a uh, wide tooth comb and I kind of just go through the outside. I got a mirror here so I'll be looking this way and I kind of just run through everything. I get my teeth down into the skin a little bit. Okay and then while you guys are in the shower a couple key things when you are using conditioner you want to make sure you have a comb in the shower to run through your beard that's really going to help with out of the shower to not have tangles and the second thing is when you finish, end with a cold rinse. It's really, really important for my beard style and health. Next, I'm going to come up underneath my beard and just run out here. And this is going to get rid of all the tangles, but also kind of help that drying process. Right, I'll let my beard nice and big and breathable. Okay. Now, I always like to kind of dry my combs off in between uses. Next thing that I'm going to be using is my beard oil, the most important product you can have. Today I'm going to be using uh, whiskey and hardtack and this is snake venom. This is a scent that is like tea tree and just really almost like Vicks Vapor Rub kind of just opening you up invigorating type scent. I really really like this one and again they have no idea I'm even using this here. And this is my favorite type of top. This is the restrictor cap here. Now I do not measure by drops. I kind of get a feel for how much I use here. For this kind, it's not a Euro dropper, so I like to give it the little taps on the back there. And I'm just judging by how it's pooling up in my hand. I kind of have an idea. It's about a quarter size. I know that can be arbitrary, but about a quarter size amount for me. All right, That would be about a full dropper. I know it's kind of hard to show you guys there, but it would be about a full dropper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work that into my fingertips. That's really important there, not into my palms. And then I'm going to get it to the skin first. So I'm going to go under my beard, get it into my teeth, or into, I'm acting like the teeth of a comb, and getting that into my skin. Now my beard is really dense and really, really thick, so I do have to kind of shake it as it goes through, otherwise it's not going anywhere. So I'm getting it to the skin, or as close as I possibly can, and then I'm going to finish up because not only is beard oil for the skin first and foremost, but it is also for the hairs. That's why I use more beard oil than someone that has a shorter beard. Not because our skin is different, but because our beards are different. 
okay? And you will, when you do this, likely get a couple hairs there. I got one. It is normal, right? There's a difference between shedding and breakage. I have a couple videos on that for you guys. All right, don't forget about the mustache. Get the skin, especially right where it meets my lip. This almost acts as like a lip balm for me, okay? And my skin is, my hands are good. If you have any excess, put it on your elbows, put it on your love handles, wherever. Now I'm gonna go through with that wide tooth wood comb again. And I'm really just gonna make sure it's even throughout the beard. And I'm gonna take those teeth again and I'm gonna get them to the skin to make sure it is getting into the pores and that it's spreading out evenly on the skin. All right, mustache. And one more time, I'm gonna run up underneath the beard. Get everything underneath. A lot of times I think guys pay attention to the face of the beard or the front. Gotta give some love to the underbeard. Okay. And it's going through nice and smoothly. Washing condition days are my favorite. Of course, the beard really likes to cooperate on those days. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kinda get it all tidy. Now, really important here is I'm gonna let this sit for five to 10 minutes before I come back and the next step will be blow dry. Five minutes later, now it is time to blow dry. Now I got two new tools here. First is my Babyliss Rapido Pro Blow Dryer. Now this is more expensive, but this is something that Sam and I bought. We got it off Amazon. We decided to make that upgrade completely worth it. Amazing one. Um, and another one that I bought, made a video on recently was this Buffalo horn comb from, and it's got the handle from Amazon. So I'll link both of those down below. And again, we purchased these. None of these were sent by companies or anything like that. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to blow dry on the medium heat on the medium speed, medium heat, medium speed. That is as high as I go. All right. Step, I'm gonna go in with the cold shot here on cold setting with that cold shot and this is just gonna kind of lock everything in for me I love finishing with this cold shot Kind of finalize the style a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, looking good. And then for me personally, the last step is gonna be my Kent comb addressing my mustache. Now my mustache falls straight down here, but I wanna get it out to the side a little bit, so I just part in the middle, go across, okay? And then I'm gonna grab finger and thumb and kind of just guide it where I would like it. And the mustache for me is a constant battle. It's not something that's set it and forget it. You just gotta always be kind of constantly going this way because I do not use balm, I do not use wax, I do not use butter during the day. This is all I use is my morning routine and that uh, beard oil. So if you were to use balm or butter, I would advise applying it at this time. Your very last step, I do not like combing after using balm. I prefer to use it like a shield when I need to, uh, but this is where I'm at for my morning routine. If you need to kind of style up a little bit, just touch it up at the ends. All right, make it look nice here. Okay, so slight changes there, but not a whole lot. The fundamentals are still the same, even though the beard is longer, time has passed, I've learned new things. Question to leave you guys with, what do you do differently for your morning routine and what questions do you have for me as it comes to this update or what I'm doing or reasons behind it? I would be honored to be able to answer those. So thank you guys for watching today. Dancy bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.